Hey Polish fans, it's Caroline again and welcome to another video here at Wild Wind Lacquer. In today's video I am continuing on, finally, <laughs> filming my unboxings and the hauls that I got over the last couple of months. For those of you that may have missed it on some of my other videos, basically I was missing from YouTube for the last month and a half to two months, part of I think it was like May and June, and then I finally started posting again late in June and now of course we're in July. But yeah, I am still catching up on the backlogs of all of the packages that I ordered that I didn't unbox. And for most of them, I didn't really do any swatches because I didn't have the spoons, the emotional energy to do so. However, for today's video of Ethereal and Bees Knees Lacquer, I did go ahead and swatch these prior to filming. So I do have those swatched. But you guys, oh, look at my Bees Knees Lacquer haul. I don't know if you guys can tell just from looking but y'all, I duped myself. <laughs> I can't believe I did that, but you're going to see some polishes from my previous haul from Bees Knees Lacquer that I filmed and posted a couple of weeks ago by now. And that was from their latest collection that came out in June. And yeah, this one was sitting here in my stack unopened and I duped myself on at least two polishes. So there's that. But let's go ahead and see what I got. The first haul we're going to do is from Ethereal. That is also from a couple of months ago. And then of course, the Bees Knees Lacquer is also from a couple of months ago. So let's go ahead and dig in. The first one from Ethereal is Lament. This was when they released their Siren collection. And this one is a really beautiful polish. It's kind of hard to see on camera. It is a deep purple base that again is really not coming off on camera and even when it's swatched mostly what you're seeing is that intense vibrant blue glow but also as you can see there's these micro flakes in there and like an aqua now those i'm not really seeing as flakes on the nail but it's a gorgeous gorgeous color very dark yet somehow vibrant at the same time here it is in two coats with a glossy top coat and yeah, it's that blue glow that's really providing the vibrancy, as you can see there on the nail. But even the background, that darker purple tone is really hard to spot. I can kind of see it in person, but with my lighting, it is kind of hard to see. But it is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. A little bit more of the simplistic side of things as far as a recipe goes, but very pretty. So that one was Ethereal's Lament. Next up is the only magnetic that I ended up getting. I don't remember if there were two magnetics in the collection, but this one is called Darling Divine, and it is a magnetic from the Sirens collection. And this one is another that's a little bit hard to describe. It does have that metallic gleam to it, but that is the magnetic particle. So when you apply the magnet, all of a sudden, there you have a beautiful blue glow and the sort of a dusty light purple background in the base. I did this one in three coats with a glossy top coat. And there you can see that beautiful purple base with again, that glow, that blue glow. Now what I find interesting about that magnetic pole is when it's on a nail, you can actually see a dual line of the magnet. The lower one is more silver. The upper one has that pinch of like a blush tone to it. So it's very, very pretty, kind of an unusual magnetic pole but I love this one in three coats. Very, very pretty. And I do think that one is going to stand out in uniqueness in my collection. So that one was Darling Divine. Next up is another one from the Sirens collection. This is Dark Allure. And this one is a kind of gloomy, but beautiful shimmer polish. It has this unusual base to it and then a gorgeous shifting shimmer. So there along the edges of the bottle, you can see the color of the base. It kind of has this dingy, murky teal quality to it. And then you can see all the different shifts from purple to red and pink in that shift. It is very, very pretty. This one was okay for me in just two coats. The opacity level was actually rather surprising. So here it is in just two coats with a glossy top coat. And again, look at that beautiful shifting glow on this shot here in this lighting. You can see that purple is on one side of the nail and you get more of that pinky, almost red quality in that shimmer on the other side of the nail. So this is one that I think is going to look really neat in different lighting situations. You're going to see more of those colors when you're in different kinds of lighting situations, but another beautiful color there. So that one was Dark Allure. And I mean, just look at the glow around the edge of that. That is so, so pretty. Kind of like a sunset vibe to it. 
Next up is one of the Shearer formulas. This one is called Obscure. This one came out in April of 2024 for the Shima Custom. I don't remember if this was for like the Facebook group, the Shima Custom Facebook group, but in any case, I did end up grabbing this one because the shimmer on this is just stunning. So this time we're dealing with a dusty blue base that has an incredible shifting shimmer to it. It is a little bit similar in tone to the shifts that I was seeing in that previous polish, which was Dark Allure. But here in a lighter base, I think we can see a little bit more of those shifts. Now it is a sheerer polish, so I did end up doing this one in three coats. So here it is in three coats with a glossy top coat. And again, we're dealing with sort of sunset vibes there in the shifts that you're seeing in that gorgeous shimmer. Now, tonally, I was initially thinking that I might have this one fall into the regret category simply because lately I have discovered that these softer, more delicate shades are just ones that I'm not reaching for very often. And when I do, I usually don't love how they look on me. However, this one I think will pass for two reasons. One, it is a darker base. It's not a super light blue. You can see that sort of a deep tone to it. Plus the shimmer in here is a gorgeous purple in some lights. And then you have that pinkish uh, rosy color on the edges as well. So I think because of those two reasons, I'm going to like this one on. And if I do end up seeing a little bit too much of my visible nail line, I can always put this over a dark teal. Maybe not a super dark teal, but maybe a, like just basically trying to match the base color. But we'll see how it ends up going. But so far, I am loving the shifts on this one as well. That one is obscure. Next up from Ethereal, we have Heartstrings. This is another from the Sirens collection. For this haul, I actually did get quite a few from the collection that was releasing. I know oftentimes I only end up getting a couple, but yeah, for this one, I got quite a few. And this one is pretty different from the other ones in the collection. It's actually a little bit more of like a fall tone. You have this deep, almost brown leaning red base, and then you have a bunch of glow in this one as well. Mainly what you're seeing at the face of the bottle is that beautiful magenta, but you do see shifts to like an orange and a red. This one is also pretty unique to my collection, I think. It is very, very pretty. This one I was good with in two coats as well. So here it is in two coats with a glossy top coat. And yeah, again, I love the tone of this. I love how vampy it is while still having a beautiful bright shimmer. So that is another stunning one. So that one was Heartstrings. And then the last one that I purchased from Ethereal is also from the Sirens collection, and this is Sirens Whisper. This is another one that I was super excited to see in person because of its unusual combination. This one has that sort of a combination of a pink with a blue glow, only this time the pink is this mauve tone, so it is a richer tone than the brighter shades of pink that I had been getting, I think like last summer was when a flurry of them had come out. So this one should definitely stand out in my collection. And again, I love this sort of a combination where you have this pinky base and then a beautiful blue glow. And actually you can sort of see along the edges of the bottle, a little bit of a purple coming through as well. So this one was good for me in two coats because of the creamy consistency. And yeah, that blue glow in here is just beautiful. Again, I love the murkiness of this. It has that mysterious quality to it. So cannot wait to wear that one as well. So that last one from Ethereal was Siren's Whisper. All right, now we're getting into my Bees Knees Lacquer haul. The first one we're not going to swatch because I just got another bottle of their I'm Fast, I'm Very Fast Quick Dry Top Coat because I can always use more top coat. Then I sort of did these in color order. The first one that I got is A Fever in the Night. This is from the One Dark Window collection. This one definitely caught my eye because it is in that sort of a cousin to a line with a thorn in its paw where you have this beautiful multi-chromatic shimmer and of course the silver hollow flakes. And I love that formulation. So I had to grab this one. It is in more of the red family as opposed to, of course, the light blue of a lion with a thorn in its paw. But look at all those fiery shifts. Absolutely gorgeous. The formula on this was a good two-coater. So here it is in two coats with a glossy top coat. And I love that those holographic flakes catch a little bit of the pink. So you have little pink speckles on this one. And of course, that beautiful red glow. This is another one where I feel like the shifts are going to come out to play in different lighting situations. So that first one from BC's Lacquer is A Fever in the Night. All right, now we're getting into the polishes that I duped myself on. The first bottle that I duped myself on is the 
crimson moth. You will have seen this or may have already seen this in my Bees Knees Lacquer haul from a couple of weeks ago. And that was, like I said, a more recent purchase. So this was the first bottle that I bought. I just hadn't unboxed it, swatched it, and hauled it. So again, I duped myself on this one, but it is very, very pretty. It has this unusual color combination where you have this almost rusty red base, a beautiful scattering of those silver holographic flakes are actually not really scattering. There are a lot of them in here and a beautiful shifting shimmer in this unusual base color. So here's that one in two coats with a glossy top coat. This is another one where I feel like that shifting shimmer is going to completely change this polish depending on your lighting situation. Cannot wait to wear this one either, but again, I already have this polish, so I won't be keeping a second bottle. It's just not necessary. I have too many bottles of polish in my collection to go through a whole bottle. So unless I really decide to narrow down my collection to like 20 polishes. I don't think a backup is really necessary, but I mean, again, beautiful, beautiful color there. I love how many colors you're seeing. It is just beautiful and very, very unique. So that one was the Crimson Moth. And then next up is the second bottle that I duped myself on because I also got this in that last Bees Knees Lacquer haul that you saw a couple of weeks ago. This is Earth Sunderer, and this was from the Heartless Hunter collection. This is the one that I was comparing to Moon Cat's. I don't remember what the Moon Cat was called, but I did do a comparison of Bees Knees Lacquer to one of the Moon Cats right here. So this is the Moon Cat. That's the Bees Knees Lacquer. So I did do a comparison. Um... But yeah, I can't think of the name of the moon cat offhand, but they did not turn out to be duped, so that was good. But in any case, this is a second bottle for me that I purchased, so yay, go me. That is a good indicator of where my brain has been over the last few months, not paying attention. So... <laughs> This is another one where even though it is a beautiful polish, I won't be keeping a backup bottle. It just is unnecessary. But the reason why I did end up grabbing this one at least the second time was I thought it was very interesting. You again have this sort of a murky, mysterious, grungy type of base and then a beautiful multi-chromatic shifting shimmer that has a bunch of different colors going on. You're seeing purples, magentas, reds, and oranges. And here's that one in three coats. As you can see, it is beautiful and grungy on the nail. Very, very pretty. I love that you're mostly seeing, at least in this lighting, that purple with a bit of the magenta coming to play on the right side of the nail. But again, I feel like this is one of those colors where depending on your light source, you're going to see different colors. And I love that about this type of a polish, whether it's multi-chrome or shimmer, where it is endlessly entertaining because depending on where you're at, if you you know, are in the kitchen, it's going to look one way. If you step outside, it's going to look another way. If you step into the living room by your reading lamp, they're all going to show slightly different colorations. And then of course you can stack that on the angle that you're looking at your nails from as well. So again, endlessly entertaining, but I won't be keeping the second bottle that I have of Earth Sunderer. But again, it is very, very pretty. Okay, the next two I don't think I duped myself on, but we'll find out when I go to enter them into my app. The next one that I got is Grateful. This was the Organ Donation Charity Polish that she was releasing for that month. And this is a beautiful, deep, deep purple. We again have these silver holographic flakes in here. And while we do have a shifting shimmer, it's not as intense as some of the other colors, but you do see a bit of purple with some red there at the edges, and I think a bit of pink as well. This one was beautifully opaque in just two coats. So there it is with two coats and a glossy top coat. I love the intense richness of this color. And of course, the silver holographic flakes are, as I always say, one of my favorite components to see in nail polish. So right here in this lighting, mostly what you're seeing is just that deep base of the purple. But again, I'm hoping in certain lighting situations, you're going to see some of the other colors that you're seeing there in the bottle come out to play in that shifting shimmer. So that second to last polish was grateful. And then the last polish in that haul from Bees Knees Lacquer from a couple of months ago was Arcana. Actually, I'm not sure if that's Arcana or Arcana, but it is a magnetic from the Heartless Heart collection. And it is beautiful, you guys. This is another one that has so many different colors going on. Let's go ahead and apply the magnet and see how it changes. Wow. So it has a beautiful purple tone to it. And then when you apply the magnetic, the purple gets pulled up into the magnetic line. And then you're left with that beautiful fiery finish in the shimmer, that larger particled, almost UP type shimmer. 
absolutely gorgeous. I love that purple tone. This one I did do in three coats with a glossy top coat. And yeah, this is another one that I feel is pretty unique to my collection, especially with that electric purple magnetic line. It is dazzling and so, so beautiful. And of course, I love this larger particle red glow. From my angle, a little bit further back this way, I am seeing a little bit more orange, whereas I feel like on camera it is coming off mostly as red. But again, this is a very, very shifty shimmer. So you, depending on the light situation and the angle and all that, you're going to see different colors. But I can't wait to try that one with that electric purple magnetic glow. So, so pretty. And that last polish from the haul was Arcana or Arcana. And there we have it. That was my haul from Ethereal and Bee's Knees Lacquer from a couple of months ago. Let me know what you thought down below. Which ones were your favorites? For myself, this is unfortunately going to break my cycle, uh, my record of regret purchases because as you saw I did dupe myself onto polishes so yes those do fall out under the regret category or the umbrella if you will because I already purchased them but since I wasn't really keeping track or unboxing anything I didn't realize that I already purchased these two so in any case that's the reason why I would call those two regret purchases only because I have them but like I mentioned they are both stunning stunning colors so it's not anything against the colors themselves. I love them. I just don't need two bottles. That's the bee's knees. We already know I duped myself. Do any in the ethereal purchase fall into the regret category? And I would say there I potentially could have talked myself out of lament just because it is one of the more simplistic finishes. That was the one with a very intense but dark blue glow. The rest of them I do think fall into a category where I feel that they're pretty unique to my collection. The blue, which was obscure, could potentially be similar to something that I have, at least in concept. But even there, I think that the type of shimmer used is unique enough to my collection in this kind of a color that I don't think it falls into the regret category. So we're good there too. I would say the only one that potentially falls into that range of a regret purchase or if I were to talk myself out of it today like if I was redoing my purchase right now that's the only one that I would potentially cut but I still don't know if I would because I believe the reason why I ended up grabbing it is because I was curious how it would compare to a few deep deep blues that I have and I want to say one of them was like Lorraine until I can do that comparison I can't really say that it falls into the regret category completely. So I think we're going to stick with just those two from Bees Knees Lacquer and call it good. Um, <laughs> if you're new and you like nail polish content, do think about hitting that little subscribe button down below. That way you don't miss out on any of my new videos. As I have been mentioning in my other uh, haul videos and all of that, I don't really have a set schedule. I have been, since I came back, been able to post sometimes three times a week. But this past week, I at least as of when I'm filming, only did post twice. So it just sort of is going to depend on how much time I have, but do feel free to like and subscribe down below. And then of course, if you want to be notified when I do post, that bell notification will let you know each time a new video is posted. As always, thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate everyone that hangs out with me and takes a peek at the beautiful polish that I'm sharing with you guys. Hopefully you have a good rest of your day and I will see you in that next one.